It's something I've been wanting for a long time. I've been waiting for it for a long time, and it's finally here. I'm opening it up. Don't go anywhere. You're gonna love this. Stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Layman Video Gamer. I am Scott Galaxy and as I said, I got a really cool package in today. It's something I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, I was on a waiting list and it's finally been delivered after a few months. And um, let's just dive in and we'll talk about it. I don't want to spoil too much because I'll probably do another video after this about the specs and how it works. But let's just open it up, see what it looks like. And um, I'm just really excited. Let's do it. Sorry if you can't see it. Oh, that opened really good. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. So, this is the Valve Steam Deck. And this is something that is, I guess it would be considered probably the most advanced handheld, even more than the Switch, um, to date. And it's more than a handheld. It's actually much bigger than any handheld ever made, but um, it's still very, very cool. We're going to take a look at it here, but um, you can see it starts off with um, just kind of an overlay of the machine. There you go. Um, and it basically just says, here's, the, here's where the plug-in goes. So hopefully there's a little battery in this and we can kind of take a look and pop it on, but we'll see. So this is, I don't know what this is. We'll take a look here. I imagine it's just the plug-in. And it is. So here you go. This is your power charger. Beautiful. Let's put that aside. And then let's just look at the, um, the main event. And this one comes in a package deal. So this one is not just the system itself. It actually comes with a uh, carrying package as well. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Thanks, Siri. You're welcome. I'm so excited about this. So it comes like this. I don't know if you can see that. Your gaming, your games are going places. Your games are going places. All right, so let's open this up. Very pretty, very pretty. Nice logo. And let's unzip this thing. Oh, I gotta cut the, the little thing on it. Got it. All right, so let's unzip it. There, let's we'll look at it together. Wow, so there it is. That thing is huge, but it looks amazing. So let's take it out. It's got a nice little pull-up tab here to help you pull it out. And there it is. I don't know if it's not going to get into focus. Eh, eh, well, we'll do it. We'll do it differently. We'll do some close-up shots. But so there's the power button. Let's take a look. There may not be any power in it. That being said, we'll obviously plug it in and play. But just from the feel of it, this thing feels so nice. You've got four triggers on the back. Trigger trigger uh, buttons. You've got these. These things are beautiful. These, these feel really nice. And you can see a lot of times you have that kind of centering problem when with analog sticks, but this snap right back into the middle nicely. I believe these are touch pads. And of course the D pad, um, 
we have to use it. The buttons feel really nice, really solid. And of course you've got your, looks like some, maybe a headphone jack. Uh, if you want to listen to it with your headphones, it's got a volume on the top. It's got the plug in. There's where you put your uh, SD card in and um, let's get this thing going. Let's, 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 uh, let's plug it in. See what at least the opening screen, the, the, the opening screen looks like and um, take it from there. All right, guys, so I am going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and I'm going to film it just in case, just in case uh, it turns on when I plug it in. So let's take a look. All right, so I just plugged it in. Should I see if the power, so if the light is on, power's coming to it. Let's, let's just check it, see if we can get a power to start here. Oh, there it is. There it is. And as you can see, I just had my PSP plugged in. <laughs> I was going to play that, but why when I've got this? So I don't know if this, uh, if I'm supposed to do something with this as it is, or if it's loading up or what the deal is, but um, I'm gonna lay, let it sit here for a second before I hit anything. All right, or maybe it needs to do some things or I need to do something, so let me look it up. All right, guys, um, literally right after I turned out the video, this popped up. So let's do this. Um, let's do English, of course. I think it's a touch screen so all of this is should be done uh, touch screen wise so all right now we're connected it's initializing uh, which can take a little bit of time hopefully not that long but we'll see all right so while this is kind of loading up let's uh, let's just talk about what it is first and foremost now this is the 512 gigabyte version it runs at about $649. Um, after tax, you're looking at $700 plus. Um, but this has got the fastest storage. It's got the premium anti-glare etched glass, uh, the exclusive carrying case, which I already showed you, and the. It's also got a couple other exclusive, like the um, exclusives, like the Steam Community Profile Bundle and the Virtual Keyboard theme. Um, and there's a big, you can, you can check it out on the website, uh, the webpage, or if you already have steam, which I assume you do since you're watching this down, but, um, you can just go out to steam and, uh, check it all out. But this is essentially, um, the most powerful PC in your hands, mobile device that you can get on the market as of today. And I have... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty big with Steam. I do like a lot of the Steam games. Unfortunately, some of the games that I really play on Steam, like Age of Empires, even though there are a couple that do work, um, not all of them work on the system as of yet. But um, you can also go out and check and see which games uh, do work, have been verified to work on, this, on the, um, the Steam Deck. But uh, not all games work. I guess that's the most important thing to know before you buy this is that you should probably see if the games you're playing are usable on this device. Oh, there we go. It's doing something, doing something. Um, but it does have a resolution of 1280 by 800. It's got the um, seven inch diagonal display. It's a huge display, like huge. Now, again, I play on my Switch right there. And um, this thing just dwarfs it. It feels that way anyway. But uh, it does uh, work at a 60 hertz uh, frame rate, refresh rate, excuse me. And um, it's got an ambient light sensor. And uh, looks like we're just going to wait for this thing to kind of pop on. How fancy. Uh, so it's going to ask me to sign in and start off that way. So let me do that real quick. All right. So I've signed in. I put in the, um, the Steam Guard code that it's going to require. And then it, boom, welcome to Steam Deck. Press any button or tap. All right. This is the Steam button. Fantastic. 
This is the quick access button. Cool. Power button. Volume buttons on the top. I already showed you that. And of course, the micro SD card slot on the bottom down here. Have fun! Sweet. And there you go. Um, all right, guys, there you go. That is the Steam Deck uh, from Valve. And uh, I'm really excited about this. The, the volume on it, I haven't even mentioned the volume. It actually sounds great. Um, it feels really good. Uh, it's got some weight to it. It feels built. It's built beautifully. Um, and I just cannot wait to get into this. Um, Age of Empires 3 I have on here. That's the one I play a lot lately. Um, that one I don't think really work. It does work, but there may be some workarounds for it, so we'll see. But um, I would highly recommend this just by the sheer beautifulness of this <laughs> machine. Um, but I will do another video uh, once I get to play with this thing to kind of give you my full thoughts about it. But just my first reaction to it, opening it and unboxing it, is that this thing is amazing. Um, and it just feels it feels right and uh, feels like it's built. Did you hear that? It's listening. Um, it just feels great and um, looks great. So I'm excited to dive in. Please leave me a, a comment below. How do you feel about this thing? Do you have one? Are you going to get one? Um, they are expensive. I literally could have bought myself an Xbox X series uh, instead of this, but I went for this just because it's mobile and it's uh, obviously super cool. But um, let me know your thoughts below and uh, please, please check out all my other stuff on the, on the channel before you go. And hopefully before you go, if you like all the stuff you're looking at, uh, hit that subscribe button, but, um, and come back, come back. We'll do another video telling you what this thing is like. Um, and I, I, I just can't wait. I keep saying that, but I, I really can't wait. We'll see you next time.